Hey, what is going on, guys? You have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 or the Note 20 Ultra. You want to know why fast charging is not working for you? Because one, like, uh, uh, so yeah. So in in case you guys are noticing that if you guys are trying to charge your phone and you want it to fast charge, and maybe example, most Galaxy phones don't support fast charging. So yeah. So this is a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and does support fast charging. So yeah, so one solution is uh, is when you enable. One solution I have is uh, you you guys disable fast charging. So if you guys want to know how to enable it, just scroll down, go to the top. So let me just bring this closer. Let's go to the top, press settings, the little gear icon, okay, and now scroll down to uh, device care. Press that, and then uh, go to battery here. Scroll, no, not scroll down, uh, charging. Click on that. Enable all three of them. Fast charging, super fast charging, and fast wireless charging. Enable all of them. If you have a problem with su uh, fast wireless charging, I'll make a video of that after I get my wireless charging. So, yeah, my, my wireless charging, yeah. Okay, so that's one solution. Okay, so another solution could be your, uh, it could be your uh, adapter. Your uh, wall adapter where you plug into your electric, I don't know, yeah, wall socket. So, yeah, what I want you to do is check. And what I want to do is to check if this is, if your, if your wall adapter supports fast charging. Usually, sometimes this is a USB B A type A one. It says fast, so adapted fast charging. So, these are the ones you're supposed to get, or you can get this one, like 25 watt USB-C charging, or not like this And This is a 5 watt and not fast charging. So, yeah, so this one don't get, either get maybe a, like this one here, or yeah. Uh, another solution I have is where you can, uh, you know, plug it. So, it, it could be your what's it called, socket, like your uh, wool socket problem. Just plug it in. So, what I want you to go is, is run downstairs and plug in, plug it in. And then unplug it, uh, plug it in and see if it charges. And then unplug it, then uh, run back upstairs and then plug it in. It should work. Another solution is your cable. So I have a USB-C, USB-C to USB-C cable could work with a, a USB type A or whatever. And yeah, so it could be your cable for problem. So so yeah, it could be your cable problem. So check your cable if it if it if it slow charges like regular charging. So, yeah, check your cable if it's fake or not, because once, uh, I think, uh, yeah, because also make sure to check where you're ordering your, what is it called, uh, your adapter and your cable from, because it could be fake, like, uh, Amazon, sometimes they give, give, give fake stuff and it's not fast charge or something like that, but yeah, okay, so another solution is, uh, pretty much have, I don't know, 10 of them or five of them is to get, get your phone here. Let's we force restart. It's going down. Power. Just press and hold the both buttons till I see the Samsung logo. So don't let go till I till we see the Samsung logo. Okay. Come on. Okay. Samsung logo. I let go. Now that should give you, it I should, you know, like uh, get you, uh, it should work now. So just plug it in and see if it works. If it does not, then we're going to go ahead, go to the next solution. Next solution I recommend is to maybe check for viruses on your phone. So how you can do that is go here. Let me just go ahead and enter this thing. And press done. There we go. Now, now I want you. You can just slide up, slide up, and then let me just wait. Scroll to the right, or yes, find settings, wherever it is. Scroll down. Some virus may, may affect it, so it may, it may not let it, you know, charge good, and yeah. So, device care. Go to security. Press security, and press scan phone. So, my phone is secure, so no virus is good. So, if it if it's this scan needed, then just scan it and stuff like that and scan it. One other way is you may have to... You may uh, need to wipe your cache for partition. So how do I do that? Well, so the first thing is we need to boot into Android Recovery Menu. So how do we do that? Press and hold the volume down power to turn off your phone. So, okay, press 
power off, power off. Okay, just need my password. There we go. It's powering off. So, uh, so I want you guys to press the volume up. So the volume up, power. So let me just go ahead and press that right there. And okay, Samsung logo, I can let go. Very, it's very fast. So yeah. And then now we're at the Samsung, uh, I mean, uh, Android recovery. Scroll down to wipe cache partition. Do not scroll down to this one right here where it says wipe data factory. Do not go there. Scroll one more down to wipe cache partition. To select it, click on the power button. And this is telling you this is not cannot be undone. Also, guys, this is this will not lose all your data, guys. It will not. It will just, you know, wipe some temporary files and stuff like that. So, yeah. Also, guys, the this won't lose any data. So, I'll, I'll prove it to you after I do this. Now, scroll one down. Use power. Click yes. As you guys can see here, cache, wipe complete. Then later on the default reboot system now, I just click it. There we go. And uh, it, it should not wipe any data. So, yeah. So, guys, i done this before. It did not wipe any of my data. Now, I'll prove it to you right now. So, yeah, let's just wait. And also, guys, make sure, like I told you, maybe, maybe, and, and I have some few websites, you know, where you can order this and uh, your cable, your wall adapter. You can go to the Samsung official website, so Samsung.com. I'll put a link in, put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. And yeah, so I'm going to go from here. Uh, enter my password. There we go. Go. And yeah, I'll prove it to you right now that this, this did not delete any of my data. Right here, scroll up. Scroll to the side. And yeah, everything is still there. So yeah. So guys, the last solution, I think this is my 10th. I don't know. I think 10th or 8 or 7, 6. I don't know how many solutions I said. But guys, the last solution... If 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 uh, this didn't if this didn't if none of my um, if none of the other solutions work then the only choice is to factory reset your phone. So how do we do that? And before you do that, back up your phone before. So like uh, yeah, back up your phone before you factory reset it. So go to settings. You guys can see. Go down to general management, and then reset. And reset factory data reset. Click on it. Then it will say all data will be erased from your phone. And all data as if you bought your phone brand new and took it out of the box and you need to set it up and everything. So, yeah, I'm not going to reset this because, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, but, but before you do that, so don't do that right now. Try every single step again. For, start on from one, one step, one solution, sorry, to the next one. So, yeah, starting from first to, you know, the next one. Also, so the most, probably the most common issue is this. The most common issue probably is because depending, I think it's depending on this, uh, your uh, wall adapter or your cable. Either, that's probably the most, uh, you know, common common uh, solution that people probably get fixed. So yeah. So you guys, that's it for you. I hope you have an amazing day, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you guys don't, you know, miss on any new videos. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye.